doesn't even matter. High school students from all over Minnesota gather in St. Paul for the 71st annual State Science Fair. This is where we find Eugenia Paulus, a science instructor from North Hennepin Community College, judging Kimberly's 11th grade research project. Kimberly is from Sleepy Eye, Minnesota. It's really exciting and wonderful to be able to talk to these students and interact with them, to perhaps suggest to them that they should stay in the field of science. I also feel that it helps in encouraging them when they see a college professor coming and talking to them as a real life person, they aren't so intimidated by the thought of going to college and studying science. Today's lab is about determining the calorific value of different nuts. There we go. In Eugenia's chemistry classes at North Hennepin Community College, she helps students make a smooth transition into college. Arif recently moved to the United States and is currently a student in Eugenia's class. She is very much able to get down to your level of understanding of chemistry and explain to you using landmarks you are comfortable with. I found him to be very energetic, very enthusiastic, very active in class and with a wide uh, knowledge in chemistry. However, when he came to lab, I found that unfortunately he wasn't very well prepared for lab. He hadn't been exposed to many of the laboratory skills that he should know at this point. To improve student success, Eugenia developed a tutorial for underprepared students funded by a Center for Teaching and Learning grant. The tutorial is online so students like Arif can access it whenever he needs to. One of the websites was, I believe, at MIT. You can actually watch the experiment we would be doing the next day in lab uh, in detail expression in the video and then you'd come fully prepared. He worked with me on the tutorial and at the end of the semester he found that he was able to do more than what the other students could do because he had spent so much of time practicing these laboratory skills. Arif is currently working on an advanced research experiment. He is one of my top laboratory uh, students right now. He will actually be presenting at an undergraduate research symposium in the near future. We can get an idea of how good your soap is compared to a commercial brand of soap. Eugenia works with other students on projects that apply science to their everyday world. Amber Hill is a pre-pharmacy student. Her group is learning how to keep your feet warm. I feel like this school has a diverse staff. I feel like um, the support that we have is excellent. I mean, just look at Eugenia. I feel like she expects the best from us. She expects nothing less from us but perfection. Please make sure that you get the readings from your, the other experiment. Not this one. Eugenia is a lifelong learner. She's a member of several organizations, such as the American Chemical Society and Graduate Women in Science. And she's also been selected for Who's Who Among America's Greatest Teachers from 2002 to 2005. She encourages her students to be lifelong learners as well. What I've learned by taking science courses as someone who is formerly an art major, that science is a really creative field as well. Carolyn is planning to transfer and continue her education. I applied for the program at the U for this fall. So what does this have in it? To me, teaching is more than just a job. I believe that teaching is a vocation. And I believe that teaching is not merely passing on information from teacher to student, but a teacher has a responsibility to make a difference in the lives of the students, to teach them as much as they can, to help them to realize their full potential, to talk to them at a level at which they can understand. And you show how it is related to real life. You show how they can use it in the degrees that they are pursuing. Uh, and you also make an impact in their life.